Hey folks, this is Strudel Dog. Just gonna get a little overview and look at some uh, persimmons that I picked mostly yesterday. I went up to my cabin where some of my older trees are. I some of these are past ripe. I haven't picked some of them for a while. We'll start out with uh, tamapan. Those three things at the bottom there. Tamapan's uh, an astringent variety. Very large variety. Um, some folks may not, it, I don't know that it has that good a rating. It's somewhat got more of a stringy texture. We'll cut some open here in a little bit. Not that stringy, but it's a productive tree. I had, that's from one tree, and I probably had 150 more fruit on the tree that I was leaving to ripen. These aren't particularly ripe yet. I'll probably end up dehydrating most of those. Uh, the next one I'll go to is Sejo. I don't know anybody that likes astringents, and not everybody likes astringents. Um, a lot of the texture, some of my family doesn't like them. They just don't like that feel of globby goo. But I don't know anybody that likes astringents that doesn't list Sejo, Sejo as one of their favorites. Um, I think the original tree is still alive. It's something like 600 years old. Um, it's, a, it's a grapefruit, seedless. Um, productive and uh, it makes if you dry these it makes very dry handy some of these are kind of smashed up because Sejo is pretty early and I don't get up to my cabin very often um, some of them it's actually easier to dehydrate them if they're um, picked earlier dehydration will move the, remove the astringency from pretty much any persimmon but that there, folks, is basically just a little golden glob of honey from heaven. Um, very good. Next, I'll go to one of the trees I had. No, oh, these are some, this is not an astringent. This is Matsumoto wasp fuyu. Um, wasp means early. It's... Uh, Basically, a, it's a sport of fuyu, so if you like fuyu, you like this one. A lot of these were past prime, too. I actually like to eat these just as they start to harden up in the center. Some of these are way past prime and soft, but they're, they're still a good fruit. I really like the tree. It tends to overset fruit. Um, my tree up there at the cabin, I had to pick them way early right because I was ignorant and didn't thin it early and it was literally breaking the branches. Uh, so it tends to overset, um, at least for me, that's been my experience. But it's, uh, it's one of my favorite, favorite non-astringents. Um, to me, it ter seems to be a little hardier than regular Fuyu. Regular Fuyu is a grapefruit, and a lot of the non-astringents are very similar to me. It's, to me, it seems more important when you pick them in the ripening process. If you pick them, a non-astringent persimmon can be pretty flavorful a couple of months even maybe before it's really ripe. And uh, if you can get them right before they try to soften and they start softening in, inside so it's a little harder to tell, but it's a great fruit. Um, this is a Gayambo. Um, it's not ripe yet. Um, it's a branch that I had grafted up onto this tamapan tree up there. Um, but it's a big fruit. And right beside it is here is a tamapan. Tamapan seems to also have a thicker skin. Um, I, I haven't dehydrated it much, but really what I'm going to try, to, it, the thicker skin, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, but spooning them out with that thicker skin is how I've eaten them in the past. You see it has more um, stringy texture than some of the just clear, the clear texture that some of the other um, fruit do. There's a tamapan. Next up we've got a couple great walls. It's a smaller squarish um, fruit. It's pretty cold hardy. I like this tree. It has a little bit different shape. It's almost a Christmas tree shape and has great Full fall foliage colors. Um, they're not ripe yet. Again, this is another astringent variety. 
like everything I've spoke of yet so far, except the Matsumoto Wasfuyu, is an astringent. Um, whoa! Sorry. I guess everything's falling down. Um, this is a 10 ash. It's very common. Um, it was planted a lot in the old southeast United States. Um, not one of my favorites. Um, but if you, there's an old tree, Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, South Georgia, something like that, it's very likely this fruit. Um, I see why it was Papa earlier. It, it gives mostly seedless fruit. It's reliable, early production, pretty fruit. Um, I don't know. It just, uh, it's, it makes great dried fruit, but... I, I, it's for fresh eating, there's there's others I prefer. How River. Um, this this one's really picked up its book for me last year. Last year's this year. Last year was the first year it fruited for me. I wasn't that impressed. This year, it's uh, it's coming up there in the same league with. Say Joe and some of the other non astringents to me. Very, very tasty, very rich fruit. I think this one will become more popular. Then, well, actually, next I have a couple Rosy Inca. It's a Virginiana khaki hybrid. I, actually, I didn't pick Nikita's gift today, so. It's the only hybrid I have out here, the uh, only total non-khaki. Um, cold hardy, that's that's the plus, and I know folks are working on um, creating hybrids, trying to get a couple zones up on the fruits. You taste it. it does have a rich flavor. You can, you can, t I, I Maybe it's metal, but I can taste the um, Virginiana in its background. Next up, I have a group of non astringents. Um, not all the non astringents they grow, but um, several of them. I'm trying to remember what order these are in. This is. Oki Gosho. Um, second year it's fruited for me. This is actually pretty, it's, it's, well, this is a little less typical. It's usually more round than the others. Um, I haven't tasted a lot of it yet. Jury's still out on it for me. So far, I haven't found anything of it superior than a lot of the other non astringents I grow. This is actually a Fuyu. That's growing. This is the Fuyu that Ellie Cook handles. Um, so, really, probably which means it's Jiro. I don't know. It really gets hard with the Jiros and the Fuyus and their sports to tell them apart at times. Um, Fuyu in the past has also been used generically for any non astringent, so that didn't help us at all in defining some of them. Let me cut it up. Um, Next up is, uh, I think it's another of the Jiro family. Um, Jiros are usually a little earlier. My Fuyus, except for Wa Matsumoto Was Fuyu, um, are not ripe yet to the point where I'll be picking. This is a, a lost label fruit I, a tree I picked up from um, Just Fruits and Exotics a couple years ago. It's very similar to... I know an Ichi, Ichi Kajiro. Sorry about the pronunciation of some of these names, guys. Hopefully, I'll just get close enough. So, I think it's another of the Jiro family. This next one is what I call my Gayambo knot. Um, it was purchased from Just Fruits, and it's definitely not a large non astringent. It's a, a not, Gayambo is a large astringent. This is definitely a large non-astringent. It put on tons of fruit this year, same as my issue did. And I think the size effect last year, this fruit was humongous, very good. 
and I don't really care if it was wrong labeled, it's winner for me. I'm thinking it's the actual Jiro, because like Makikawa Jiro and Ichika Jiro, it's sports or more smaller compact trees. This is a pretty vigorous tree, and uh, I've eaten a lot of fruit off of it already this year. Um, again, this is this is right. This is not to the point where I wanted to be eating it yet, but still good crunchy fuyu. Um, not for you. Persimmon. And what else? I guess we can look at it. Huh. An overripe Matsumoto wasp for you. Turn tomato red. This, this fruit probably should be eaten when it's st still firm. But like I said, I don't get up to my cabin much yet. Um... Still a good fruit. I think when it gets to this stage, I'd rather have a a nice Seijo or Hao River or or one of the other good fruits. Um, the Strudel Dog. Hope you enjoyed persimmon today. And uh, no, I think I spoke of each individual. Um, thanks.